Stardock is probably most famous for their start menu replacement, as when Windows 8 came out, the start menu was removed, and that kind of upset a lot of people. Stardock does make some games and some other software which can actually enhance and beautify your Windows experience. So today we're going to be taking a look at one of their most robust pieces of software called Window FX. But should you install it on your machine? Let's jump in and take a look. All right, so on the configuration screen, you'll have tabs for the several different areas of the OS in which you can customize animations and different effects. So let's start with animations. Now you have different areas where you can customize the animations. Window, which is the open, close, minimize, and restore animations. You can control all of these independently. Then you have menus, which are the different menus that open within a window, or say like the right-click menu and then you have some animations for movement. So just to give you an idea of what a few of these animations look like, here's one. I'll just play through these and let you kind of watch them. I personally like that one quite a bit. So there are some pretty cool animations within there. And then you'll have all those same animations for your right click menu. Now movement is a little bit different. So not all mice have this uh, option, but some mice have a middle button or a scroll wheel which can click down. This first option here enables a neat little information menu when you click down on that. So looks kind of screwy with all this information. Uh, so well, that's a little bit weird. I haven't seen it look like that before, but you get the idea. And then there's dragging animations, which essentially add some weird jelly-like physics to the box when you move it around. All right, so screen edge window resizing. This essentially enables some features like that that you find in Windows 10. So using a, and this option here will enable the window to be resized a little bit more like in Windows 10. So drag it to a corner and it will snap to, the, to that corner. Uh, dragging it to any side will still uh, resize it that way. And then you have some other options here. Uh, so if you enable this, dragging a window to the bottom will minimize it. And then if you enable this, dragging it to the top or the bottom will fill the screen 50%, which is not very helpful on most screens. And you have double click window resizing, which will extend whichever border you double click on to that side of the screen. That one can be kind of helpful. So let's go on to the right click menu. This enables an enhanced right click menu with these options that you see here. So now if I right click, you'll see some other options that you wouldn't normally see, like window transparency. So that just makes whatever window you select semi-transparent, so you can choose not to make it transparent at all, or you can have it pinned to the top, which means that even if there is an active application, it will always stay on top of any other active app uh, applications. So again, I don't see why that would be useful, but maybe if you have some sort of widget running that is giving you live information, that might be kind of helpful. So inactive windows, there's some neat options in here which can actually be useful but mostly they are to help beautify the way that Windows looks. So if you check this box it will darken the entire screen other than the window that is active. So you can control the effect to make it a little bit more darker or a little bit lighter. You can also choose a specific solid color that you would like to use or you can have a nice circular effect that's kind of nice looking. Or you can enable some uh, specific image like that. So that kind of makes it look transparent essentially. Or you can just check this box which makes inactive windows transparent. So I'll go ahead and turn that off. In movement you have different flick gestures which I don't find that useful. They're a little bit hard to activate 
and not really any faster than the normal snap gestures, but essentially they replace these, well, they don't replace the snap gesture, but it's uh, sort of a supplement to that. So if I flick the mouse this direction, it should snap the app to the right. So it's, again, that's not really any faster than just doing that. But uh, nonetheless, the option is there. And this last menu here is for beautifying your desktop. So I actually like to use this one quite a bit. I automatically hide the desktop icons unless the desktop is in focus, which essentially means if I minimize both of these apps, then the desktop icons are now showing. There are different ways that you can use this though. You can double click on the desktop to hide them and they'll always stay hidden unless you double click on the desktop, uh, an empty area of the desktop again. So that's, that's nice because it kind of just cleans things up. You can also just have it hide the labels. So you can see that it does not say recycle bin under there any longer. And then also this little icon right here, which shows you that that is a shortcut, you can hide that. Overall, we do feel that window effects lives up to its promises, but that it's not entirely seamless. I did have issues with screen flickering in heavier programs like Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Premiere, and the animations could be a bit choppy at times otherwise. That will likely depend on your hardware configuration though, and what software you also have running alongside window effects. I will be leaving window effects installed on my machine though, because it does help to beautify windows and also to make it quite a bit easier to use. Features like the four corner snap option, like we'll actually see in Windows 10, are a nice addition to Windows 8.1. Today I'm going to show you the top 10 must have apps for the Surface of 2014. First I want to show you Today, which is an advanced task management application. It syncs over the cloud, so you can have multiple Windows 8 devices or even a Windows Phone device syncing with that app. You can have multiple categories.